Hey, Richard Petrie coming to you from Halong Bay. I'm actually in uh, a place called Cat Bar, uh, where a lot of boats go off into the islands and often around the islands. Hey, now I want to I cover something with you uh, now, which I believe could add, here's the, insert big statement here, but could add another $50,000 worth of fees to you this year. I'm going to take you through a little exercise or a thinking exercise, and I, I believe in about three to five minutes once I've explained it, you will agree that you could add, add an extra $50,000 if you apply this properly. Reasonably simple to do. Reasonably simple, I say. A little bit of execution. Okay, there's the big promise. Right, it's, it's a strategy called the Dirty 30. Sometimes I call it the Super 6. Sometimes we call it the Inner Circle. Uh, whatever it is, you need to call it the um, your golden ticket to freedom. Okay? Now, let me let me ask you a few questions before I deliver this the strategy to you. It's a wee bit noisy here. We've got pup pup boats and, and some karaoke singer singing out on this floating restaurant over here and we've got a boat banging away here but I'll tell you what uh, this is worth listening to all right so duty 30 right my question to you is where do you where do, where do your leads come from have a think about all the places that your projects come from all the different places now I'm gonna do some mind reading here I'm gonna mind read and I'm gonna guess you have a thing now have a thing advertising uh, networking cold calling what else do you do? Do you do AdWords or Facebook? Um, referrals, word of mouth. Now have a think of all those. Which ones gives you the most? Now, here's my mind reading. Focus on the one that gives you the most. Advertising, cold calling, referrals, word of mouth. To referrals, word of mouth, isn't it? You get most of your business, more than half of your business from referrals. It's true, isn't it? How did I know that? I'm a very smart guy. I'm here to help you. I know you. I know how you think, I know what happens, I know how your business works. Okay, so most of your business comes from referrals. So if you were to, let's say, how much, how much time and effort do you spend on trying to get clients when you go advertising and marketing? It's like you spend this much time and effort trying to get clients. How many clients do you get from your, from your marketing and all, all your efforts? About that much, right? How much time and effort do you spend um, trying to get clients by referrals? How many systems um, do, you, do you have in place for getting referrals? Probably that many, right? How many referrals do you get? That many. That much effort for that much reward. On the other side, that much effort for that much reward. Now, one day I was thinking about this and I, I had a revelation. I'm thinking, if we were gonna help clients to, to get like four times more clients or four times more leads, where would we do it? Well, what we'd do is we'd be far more effective at getting the referrals. Because think about it, you don't do anything to get those referrals and you get lots of them. Imagine if we actually did something pretty smart and we got you quadruple the referrals. And that can happen quite easily when I, when I tell you how to do it. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about doing exactly that. So I've got some Chinese ladies looking at me smiling away. Right, anyway, less distractions. So, I am distracted now. So anyway, so here's the strategy, okay? I want you to have, take out a piece of paper and write down 30 names. Now here's, here's the names. These are these are names of people who could and should be referring people to you. We're going to call this list your dirty 30. These people could and should be referring people to you. There's the Chinese ladies there. They thought it was very funny that I was doing a video. It's kind of hard to concentrate when you've got... I don't know if they're Chinese, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Right, so anyway, you take the list of 30. These people could or should be sending people to you. Now, some of them you may know, some of them you may not know. Put them down. These are people. Now, out of this list of 30, I'm going to bank that six of these people could send you more leads than you could possibly handle. Right? They could send you more leads than you could possibly handle. That six out of that 30. Now, we probably don't know exactly who, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to form a strategy. You're going to get them on 30, 30 on a page, and you're going to come up with a 12-month communication plan. Right, what's the 12-month communication plan? Well, it could be a newsletter every month. It could be a phone call twice a year. It could be go and meet them for coffee tw you know, twice a year. Okay, So whatever makes sense for you and for these people, that's what you do for the next 12 months. And you effectively, instead of marketing to the whole world where you don't know where anyone is, you end up marketing to these 30 people who could or should be sending referrals your way. Okay, Now, when I say marketing to them, educate, provide assistance, help them out, stay in touch. All right, now one question that always comes up is, how do I make contact to them if I don't know them? If I know them, easy enough, I can just go and talk to them. What if I don't know them? Okay, here's what you can do. You can get on the phone and say, hello, it's Richard here. Listen, I'm, let's say it's a builder. 
or a contractor. Richard here. Hey, listen, you're a, you're a contractor in the area, builder in the area. I've, I've driven past some of your sites and it looks like you're doing good work. I am also an architect in the area um, and I'm looking to do similar type of projects. I'm wondering, you know, can you handle more clients? Because I get come across people, I don't have anyone right at this moment, but I do come across people who I need to, to refer them to a good builder and I like the look of your stuff. You might be someone I might be able to refer them to. Can you handle any more work? Now, what are they going to reply? Are they going to, yeah, I can handle more work? Of course. They're looking for clients just as much as you are. Okay, then you say, all right, well, let's meet up for coffee. We can introduce ourselves, find out if, you know, you know, find out, I'll find out what you're doing, you can find out what I'm doing, and uh, I'm sure we might be able to help you out, each other out sometime in the future. You know, as I said, I particularly enjoy your work. I like the look of your work, so let's meet up. They meet up for coffee, and it really is. You're looking for a win-win situation. Can I help them? You are looking to go in and genuinely think, you know, can I help this person? Because if they're, they're the right type of person, they can send you a lot of people. And my experience from dealing with architects around the world is builders are the best people to get referrers from, even better than past clients. So just remember, the dirty 30, who could be on your list? Well, contractors, um, real estate agent, agents, um, past clients, your prospects, and some publishers of magazines or newspapers, because they will often, they, could, they won't refer you, but they might refer their journalists to you to get interviewed. So they're a good one to have on that list as well. So it's called the Dirty 30. That's basically how you do it. I mean, there's a lot more detail that, that you can go into if you want to, but that is a strategy where if you stay in touch with those people, they can feed you more leads and inquiries than you could possibly handle. Okay, now I said earlier, you might make an extra $50,000. Now just have a think, if you stayed in touch with 30 people who you have handpicked, who you think are well-connected, are well-networked and are already talking to the people you want to reach. If you stayed in touch with those 30 people in a systematic, methodical way for the next 12 months, let's say on average your average client's worth $10,000. Fee, fees to you, fees to you. Do you think you can get five out of that, out of those 30 people? Well, I reckon one, one of those people could probably send you three. One of them could probably send you three. Um, someone else might send you one, and someone else might send you one. There's your five times that by your average fee, that's, that's 10,000 just to make up a figure. There's your, there's your 50,000. Do you believe that's doable? What well, is? I can tell you architects are doing that right now and this is the, one of the key strategies they use. So anyway, hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, send us an email at, at support at architectsmarketing.com and uh, I'll answer your question next week uh, if it's a good one. Alright, hope that makes sense. See you soon.